Hi, I'm Scott Deluzio, and in this video, I am going to show you some of the basic settings you'll need to get WP CRM system up and running, as well as some of the basic features you might want to take a look at. After installing and activating WP CRM system, you'll notice that an overview of projects, tasks, opportunities, and campaigns that are assigned to you will show up on your dashboard. Each user on your site who has access to WP CRM system will see something similar with the records assigned to them shown here. This helps everyone on your team stay focused on what they have on their plate. You can click through to access the details of each project directly from the dashboard. But before you get into adding any of this information, you will want to get your basic settings configured first. These settings can be found by hovering your mouse over WPCRM and then click Settings. The first setting you'll see is the user role. This allows you to select who on your site will have access to the WP CRM system records. Anyone in the role that you select and any higher roles will have access to add records and edit or delete existing re records. For most sites, administrators are probably who you'd want to have accessing this information, but you may have unique circumstances where you just want users who are in an editor or some other role to have access. Next, you'll be able to select the currency that is used throughout the system. This doesn't change any currency calculations. It is simply a placeholder shown in reports and in individual records that indicate that the value is a particular currency. You can change this at any time, and it won't change the value set in any of your records. Next, you may want to change how numbers are displayed in your system. Since there are many ways to display currencies, you are given control over how these numbers will look on your site. Enter the number of decimals that should be shown, the symbol used for a decimal, uh, and the symbol used for a thousand separator. Uh, in this case, uh, I have zero decimals shown, so only whole numbers are being shown. Uh, decimal point is a period, and the thousand separator is a comma. So the number 1000 would be written 1, 000, with no decimal points. Finally, you'll want to select the date format that should be used in your system. A number of pre-configured dates are shown in the drop-down menu. Use whatever you're most comfortable with. Once you're done, click Save Changes and you should be, start, you should be ready to start using WP CRM system.